Hi guys. It's a Wednesday afternoon. 1.40 to be exact. And uh, after talking with Mum on the phone last night, I thought uh, I'd start off um, talking about these adapter blocks that we can get in Britain. Um, <coughs> Yes, this does. These aren't illegal, as a friend of mine said, or asked, I should say. And he's in France. Um, and these do comply with all the necessary regulations, you know, and they've got the insulated pins. It's got the shutter in there. But they're still not safe. Now, I'll just explain what happened because I spoke to Mum on the phone last night and. Uh, well, let's just say, if they were asleep when this happened, the house would have gone up in flames, but uh, anyway. She's just had a dishwasher fitted in the kitchen. My stepdad's just fitted it. Uh, but in order to make room, they had to relocate the washing machine into the um, kitchen extension where the clothes dryer was. Or is, I should say. So what they did, they put the tumble dryer underneath, the, um, on top of the shelf, because it was underneath it, where it currently sits, and then um, plumbed the washing machine in underneath. Uh, no idea how Stepdad did that, but he's managed to do it. Anyway, there was only a double power outlet in there on the wall um, and they needed because there's no power outlets where the dishwasher is and it's not a wooden worktop so they can't just drill a hole through it to plug in a one you know an outlet above the um, dishwasher my stepdad just checked trailed a lead around behind it um, out of the end of the kitchen cupboards through the door into the extension and into the socket so they basically needed three um, outlets but only had a double so my stepdad used one of these and plugged the washing machine and clothes dryer into this which ordinarily under certain circumstances would be absolutely fine so long as you only used one or the other, not both at the same time, because these are rated, these are rated 13 amp, the whole block, the whole unit is rated 13 amp. Uh, now I know it will vary on, a, on different appliances, but um, even if we assume that the bare minimum each appliance would be pulling, would be 10 amps bare minimum give or take depending on the rating of the uh, machines it would be or it was pulling close to double the rated amps of this double the rated current which meant as well it was pulling double when mum had both clothes dryer and washing machine running at the same time which meant last night eventually this sort of uh, just overheated and started to melt and because uh, my mum and my sister were talking in the kitchen and they, uh, mum said when I was talking to her that the, uh, she could hear this sort of clicking and buzzing coming from somewhere and when my sister went to investigate she found that this not this exact one but the one that my stepdad had used and, um, started to melt and fused the tumble dryer plug to this to one of these um, so now that they are only using one at a time because mum said she didn't realise how dangerous these could be I don't think many people do I think you know they just think oh you know it's a plug socket it's got two you can plug two appliances into it you know they don't think of the power rating. I think things like this should be taught in school, to be honest. I think that would be pretty damn useful in science. 
Now, considering how much we rely on electricity nowadays, surely teachers teaching kids more about it would be beneficial. So, yeah, I mean, these are safe so long as you don't plug it in any big appliances, basically, as long as you don't plug in washing machines, clothes drawers, microwaves, anything that requires a high current, um, you'll be fine. You could get away with, like, a couple of table lamps, because they're going to pull probably two amps max, depending on what light lamp you got in it. Probably less than that if you use LED bulbs. <laughs> probably about an amp each if you're using LED bulbs. Um, you could get away, yeah, with lots of various low, or two low-powered items in this, you know. Perhaps a couple of DVD players. Uh, I don't know about games consoles, to be honest. You might get away with one, but... Uh, yeah, so my advice is, from experience, don't use these. Use one of those. I know that you get various ones worldwide to suit your country, but yeah, use the training sockets instead. Now I know I've got one there and I've got one there. And you're probably thinking I've got them plugged into one extension lead as the outlet is down here, but no, I'm not that daft. There's actually two extension leads um, running behind there. One plugged into each side of the double outlet behind these boxes. It's just you can't see it. But, well, you might be able to see it actually. Just see the end of it, right there, somewhere. <clears throat> but uh, that's why, as well, when I get a chance, I'm going to put another double socket in underneath where my. Um, um, master system and Mega Drive and whatnot is. Oh, I wonder what's getting into your head. <clears throat> um, I've got a double outlet. It's currently in use in the hallway, actually. Uh, but I'm going to change that for a single outlet because I don't need a double down there. Um, I do believe I've got a single in my box. I'll have to have a double check. If not, I'm certain there's a couple at mum's, so... And I've got the back boxes for a single, so that's okay. I could put a single outlet... Um, ...in at mum's where the wash machine is, but I'd rather put a double in. So they've got that spare one there, just in case. I think there's some cable over there. If not, I might have some cable here. I've got a bloody great length of cable. Anyway, moving on, second subject. Here's a close-up of that Apollo suspension bike. And as you can see, it's actually a rather clean frame. But what's letting it down is that, mostly. It's got an auction sticker on it as well. <laughs> yeah, this side's a bit filthier. Little paint sort of spilt on the forks, but it looks like it's pretty war-based, so I think I'll be able to clean that off fine. Um, the reason I've dragged this one up here is because I've noticed the frame is rather shit on this one. So, what I'm going to do is first off, pinch that, and pinch that, and drop that on here. Came off this one um, originally, so it should go on. And might need brake blocks, I don't know. I'll try and set the brakes up as is. I'm going to put the seat post in. And just clamp that down, hopefully. Turn it upside down, drop the wheels in, 
these are the original wheels out of it. But this frame really is, it's, I went to clean it last night and I realised just uh, it's a bit more beaten up and scratched than I thought. So what I'm going to do is just connect the front gear cable, take the chain off, take the front derailleur off as well because that came off this. And the rear derailleur because I need the screw back to go on this because I nicked it off of this. Uh, and I'm basically going to um, take this handlebar off. I'm just going to cut the gear cables because they're seized anyway. They're seized solid. Where's my good cuz? Had them last night. We'll find them in a minute. Um, once I've got the cables cut, I'm just going to take off this and this as one. So I'm just going to undo that and the two bolts. Take it off. Take those ones off and just drop those ones straight onto this. Which might look better, actually. They were black originally. I've never seen any do that before. They've sort of gone... Not fully rusted as yet, they're sort of surface rust that's got rid of the paintwork. Oh look it's drizzling. I'm guessing mum's working till two but she wasn't sure if she was going to go straight home from work or come into town I think she'll go straight home. So I need to uh, get both these bikes upside down, don't I? So I'm going to start on that, I think. Anyway, you know what I'm going to do with this? Well, I don't actually know why I kept both of mine, because I don't use them and I don't like using them, but the bin is the best place for those. I, even had a f I put a post up about it last night and... Uh, even my, one of my Farfight friends turned around and said uh, these are far safer to use than um, those extension bricks, whatever they're called. Health hazard. More replies from Gumtree. Someone did reply about a kid's bike. No more reply though. Nope. I've got a feeling when I get that one done that would probably sell a bit quicker. Um, I don't know what it is but I find it hard to shift the classic mountain bikes shall I call them. Like my rally. That grey rally. It's a nice looking bike. It's in good condition for its age. Bloody good condition for its age. Like my green rally, but for some reason they're hard to shift. I suppose you've got to uh, have the right kind of person looking at you at the time, so. Right, well, I'm going to get on with some work, so I'll talk to you all later. Da -da -da -da. It's together, cables are connected. Basically, it just needs tuning or adjusting. And I don't know if the gears work because obviously I haven't ridden it, I've just connected the cables. Um, still needs a bit of cleaning, but I did get most of that paint off. <laughs> Got all the green gunk off as well, that was all over it. You know, when I picked it up at the recycle center, I said, to mum I said this one's got potential and she was like are you sure <laughs> trust me I look under the dirt I'm going to change the seat because I want this comfortable seat for another bike so I'll put that one on um, but once I've done that and the rain stops I can stick my t-shirt back on and take it downstairs and make sure it rides oil that chain up that's going to need a good soak um, I couldn't put the original back wheel in, well I could if I wanted to swap the free wheel, because the original one was 7 speed, 
and because I didn't swap the gear shifters <laughs> I um, left the six speed on on this handlebar and I just swapped the whole lot over which I actually have to say suits it pretty well I'm quite impressed I think it suits it I think that actually would look better than the black Ooh. oh that's a bit loose whoopsie I'll have to uh, tighten that up you know, all the numbers are worn off that <sighs> Yeah, it's pissed it down again. Oh, it has stopped. Oh, bloody weather. Anyway, I just thought I'd update you. I've got cables to trim, brakes to adjust. I may end up changing the brake cable on this because it's a bit sticky. The rear bake, br bake cable? It's a bake cable. The rear brake cable. I'm sure I can find one in that box. Uh, actually failing that, I know where I can get one from. So I've pinched a load of parts off my giant for the time being. So um, just the outers actually, because uh, I needed longer outers to go between here, because it's a longer distance than on that crappy silver frame. But I'm actually glad I changed my mind. This has actually cleaned up uh, rather nicely. Front brake works absolutely fine. Brake blocks need adjusting because they're not quite on the rim. Anyway, I'm going to disappear and get on with some more work. It's gone. It's downstairs. It's done. It rides. Brakes work. Gears work. That's all good to go. <coughs> I'll tell you one thing. These Apollo bikes, they might just be a budget type bike. You know, a cheapy one when they were new, but... They don't give me much hassle when I fix them, to give them some credit, and that one did clean up pretty well, and I've got a coin in my boot, I've got a hole in this pocket, and uh, I put some change in there accidentally earlier, <laughs> it's gone straight through the hole, down my leg and into my boot, so I'm currently walking around, with, I think, a five pence coin in my pot, in my um, boot. I'll put you there for a minute. Uh, well, I've got to wash my hands first before I do anything. No, no, no. So I'm preparing a dinner. I'm cheating tonight. I'm do a couple of these. Thank you. Up the right way it might help. <laughs> it's not gonna let me put the time in the door open, is it? Nope. What is it? Start after five minutes to recover, so one's an eight hundred watt. <laughs> so I should get away with about eight minutes flat with this. Um it says to stir after every five or after five minutes, so what I normally do. I'll put these in for five minutes, let it go ding, stir it, and then set it for three minutes, because if I don't, I'll forget about it and I won't stir it. Do that. Do that. Two, three, four, five, start. Now we just wait. 
What do you need to clear? You need to clear the clutter, that's what I need to clear. Oh. It keeps clouding over dull, and then it rains, and then it clears up nice, and then it clouds over dull, rains, and then cleans up, clears up nice. Ooh. May have a pair of brake levers here for my Claude Butler. That's what I'm going to do this evening as well. I'm going to swap the wheels so that's all done and dusted. And then I can put the wheels that are currently in the Claude in the Giant. So, Or I might save that as a job to do tomorrow. I don't know. It depends how I feel after dinner. But yeah, because I'm going 8 speed on this. Didn't initially want to. I want to go 21 speed, but... I've got the equipment, or the bits to do 20, um, 24 speed, so I'm going to go ahead with that. So, I'll drag that wheel out of the cupboard after dinner. I suppose it's not too noisy. Um, um, dealing with that is that I'm just swapping wheels over and sit here. It's only a five minute job. <clears throat> I'll bring the giant in here and put the wheels I want into that one. And the tyres on, hopefully. Oh. Yeah, just bend the sains, breeze. Whew. Right. Anything going on? I've got a photo to put up because while I was downstairs I photographed that bike. So I've got that to load up to the PC. I scrolled up for something. What oh, were yeah. you? Just checking the email. Whoa! Where'd this lock come from? One in the spam folder. Nope. No, nope, no more replies. Maybe I, I put the rally up for thirty quid because I felt it was worth that, even though it's a, an old mountain bike. It's in good condition, but maybe I'm pushing my luck. I don't know. But I have put open to offers as well. You know, if someone makes me a sensible offer, and not fifteen bloody quid. I did of um, or near offer is that you make a near offer not half price I've been watching a lot of um, salvage squad the last couple of days and watching them uh, not restore cars because I thought well I've seen lots of that done anyway I was watching them restore cranes and a World War One locomotive, and I just thought that was different to cars. You know, I can I can come on YouTube and find lots of restoration videos for cars and things. I just thought that would be different, and it was quite fun. Right, I'm going to shut the video down so I can go and have some dinner. Is it recording? Yes, it is. <laughs> it was sort of a delayed reaction when I hit the record button for some reason, but I've got the little red dot up, so I know it's recording. I've got Boss on my lap. <laughs> I've got to learn to keep each segment as short as possible. I just like to chat. If my brother was here, I'd... Um, He'd confirm I like to chat. I used to do it all the time. Because uh, we used to share a bedroom. Back in the day when we were little kids. And uh, actually I used to do, I'll admit, I used to do this deliberately. We'd both be sitting watching TV and there'd be things I'd want to watch. When we're gone to bed, you know, we're both sort of teenagers at this point. And I would sit there and I would just chat about anything and everything and it would actually send him to sleep <laughs> so then I'd get the TV <laughs> so 
bits. I used to do it deliberately. When I figured out what was happening, I used to do it deliberately just to put him to sleep. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, I need to pop downstairs and just put my clawed in the shed. Um, I've got to bring the giant in here. Um, and bring my suspension bike that I've just fixed upstairs. Because I've got nowhere to put it downstairs. The um, Salcano frame may end up just chucking that in the scrap heap because I can't actually be asked with it. To be honest. Not even as a trailer bike. It's, the frame is just... I mean, I could, if I really, really, really wanted to, I could um, scrub the whole thing down with some sandpaper or a disc on an angle grinder and respray it, you know. Or just give it a nice spray job. But it's not worth it. Because I wouldn't... I don't intend to keep it. I don't need it, so... For the sake of a bunch of spare parts, I'm just going to break it up. <laughs> don't think I'll bother with the bottom bracket because that does wobble quite a lot. So I'll just take the crank off, the V-brakes off. There's no dryer, no seat post, no seat post clamp, no chain. And drop the front forks out, and that's it. Could actually do that tonight if I really want to. And then chuck the frame on the trailer. That'll be a third one to go down to the tip on our next to go. Um, now that guy I know, um, wants me, or has got some Lego for me, so I think I'll get that next time I get paid. He's going to sort some out. I bet what it does, he's got a big bloody box of it, and he does what some people like to do. They get a box of Lego, bag it up as a certain weight. You know, they'll weigh it out as, I don't know, 100 grams or something, a couple of hundred grams. And uh, sell it for about a tenner. Something like that. And make their money back. Because <laughs> uh, Lego fanatics like me will buy it anyway. Something else I was going to say before I, uh... No, actually I can leave that till later on. It was just, uh... Plans for tomorrow, but... I can... Oh, I've got a couple of minutes. No, actually I'll leave that till later in the video, I think. Um... I do want to soak in a bath, so when I come back up... I'm not sure. The wheel... I could just reach into my outside closet and grab the wheels I want to put on Claude um, because they're literally just inside the door should be able to get hold of them um, and do that tonight because that's not a noisy job you know I just turn the bike upside down let the air out of the tyre take the tyre and tubes off stick them on another rim put the rim back in pump them up done actually the pumping up bit would be the noisiest job because it's going to be done by hand pump so don't I think I've got a hand pump up here. Otherwise I'd do it with that. Oh. Yes I have. I've got my little one under there. I could try that out. <laughs> nah. I'll do that later. Right. Are we raining? No. This lad walking across here looks familiar. That's who I think it is. He, I'm going to say, used to work in Lidl. Because I haven't seen him in there for a while. Alright, I'm going to disappear. Actually, that wheel can go up in the shed. Um, in the closet. It's a decent spare seven-speed rim. Came off the Apollo. Heard someone walking back across that gravel. Yeah, it did. Right, I'm gonna go and get some things done, and uh, I'll stop back in probably before I get in the bath. So, uh, 
See you in a little bit. I hope I've got enough battery for this. <laughs> um, yeah, I started to make the last segment, then bum rang, so I had to quit. So I decided just to start again. Um, so I decided to um, try to change the wheels on Claude the Second over here. But the wheels do not want to play ball. An 8 speed cassette will not go on that wheel. The hub is too short. So I can't get the 8th speed sprocket on. That black rim fits perfectly in the frame. But has got a slight buckle to it. So what I plan to do. is um, go down to the shed tomorrow because I know I've got wheels hiding in there and um, I'm going to see what wheels I've got there. I know where there is another one. Second on an antacid in case you're wondering. Um, there's one in the back of the grey rally so I'm going to swap that for um, another seven speed wheel that I've got up here. Just a straight swap, that's all. Uh, yeah, and then hopefully. Um, Yeah, sorry, my brother just messaged me and totally distracted me, threw me completely off. Yeah, I'll swap that wheel in the grey rally tomorrow and uh, hopefully I can get one of these cassettes to fit on that wheel. But I will also have a look in the shed and see if I can find anything in there. Um, Yeah. <laughs> oh, battery's about to go. So, I suppose I'll say good night. My plan for tomorrow is, as I have no other bikes to fix, is play around with my own. Try and get the wheel. Try and get as much sorted out on this one as possible. Hopefully, to the point where I've just got to fit cables. That's the plan, so thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, see you later.